Hey everybody, we're gonna make this cute bandana halter top. I have red on one side, black on the other, super easy to make, so let's get going. Here's what you're gonna need for this halter top. Your supplies are gonna be three quarter inch elastic, one quarter inch elastic. You wanna have two bandanas, whatever color you wanna do, same color, different pins, scissors, your thread of your color choice, and then your sewing machine or your serger. So basically at this point, I have my bandanas lined up with one another. Um, my good sides are facing one another. I'm gonna have my serger go on and cut these edges off that are on the side and I'm gonna even everything out because my black bandana actually was bigger than my red one. Once I get to the bottom, um, I did serge the top part around the chest area because I wanted that really secure with the elastic. And then once I did the bottom, I just kind of left that alone because it was already a finished edge. It's totally up to you if you want to do that. Um, if you were doing from scratch regular fabric that you just cut out in the squares of the same sides, I would say once you serged your, or sold your sides, then go on and serge the bottom to give you some security. Um, because some of the fabric that you have will fray and you don't want it to do that. So I'm about to serge, sew my sides, and then we're going to get going from there. Let's go. So I'm now in my serger. I have everything evened out and ready to go. I'm going to go on and get my foot up and just kind of get ready to run through here. The way that I have everything set up on my serger, I do have it on a rolled hem. So as my fabric begins to get cut on the side, it's gonna go on, fuse everything together and look really good. And it's gonna roll it up just a little bit instead of doing the normal one. Um, my serger, I just kinda gotta watch out for my blade and then my needle that shoots up on the side. I'm sorry, my blade's not on. Let me turn it on really quick and go on from there. Now, if you don't have a serger, then you can always use your overlock stitch if you have that available on your sewing machine. And if you don't, then you can always use a zigzag stitch just to kind of give you some additional security on what you're sewing. Um, I just love my serger. I recently got it. I found it at a thrift store for an excellent price and it's just really changed my mindset on sewing. I'm really excited about sewing now that I have it, especially since I've moved on to starting to do clothes and things like that for my kids. It just makes things look a lot better. So that is it on that side. This is what the serge edge looks like. As you see, um, everything's even as far as my red and black at this point. Um, and I don't have to do that cut and accidentally cut my thread. And I'm gonna do the other side and then move on to the next step, which is the ironing. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, as I prepare for my elastic, I have um, my board here. You just wanna make sure that the bottom part of that serge hem or whatever hem you do touches the quarter inch that's on your ironing guide. I just made this out of cardboard, marker, and a ruler. And then um, as I iron, I'll just iron over that cardboard and keep sliding it around to make sure that I leave enough space. When I get to the three quarter inch part, which is the other, the bottom part of the um, halter top, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So pretty simple. Okay, so now I'm gonna just sew my bandana, straight stitch, simple, simple thing. Everybody knows how to sew by now. So straight stitch with my black thread. And go from there. Okay, as I get to this part right here, I just want to be careful not to cross into the red. So I am going to do a back stitch to secure the black area. And then I'm going to pretty much do the same thing on the other side, flip it over, and then I'm going to switch to my red thread and then do my red thread and make sure that I have enough room for my elastic. Two finger lengths is good enough. Um, so you can get your safety pin in as you fish it around and don't have any issues getting it out. Um, just in case it actually you pull it too much and the elastic accidentally goes in. So um, let me do again the other side with my black. Then I'm going to switch to my red and then I will be back.
Okay, so I'll stop right there so I can actually use that space to put my elastic through. I'm gonna go on and do that as you see. My two fingers will fit right there. I'm sorry, my cam camera angle was off. My two fingers do, do fit right there, so I'm gonna put on my safety pin, elastic, and fit it through. I'll be back um, when I'm ready to sew that. But look first at how fly this came out to be. Look, black on one side, red on the other. So that's pretty cool. But of course, if you're doing one color, just go all the way around and just make sure you leave yourself enough space. Now that I have my elastic stitch through, I'm just gonna do a zigzag stitch. I'm gonna do a couple of um, back stitches just to secure it because you just want your elastic secure. You don't wanna wear the top and then all of a sudden your elastic is snapped. The zigzag stitch was cool for me, but I did eventually go on and serge it. Um, because it just looked better on my bigger one. The serger for my particular model, I wasn't able to serge the quarter inch elastic, but I'm gonna do the same method on the quarter inch elastic, but I did end up serging the three quarter inch. I'll just show you what the difference is in just a moment though. I mean, it was cool, it was secure, but I just wanted to see what this was to do. So of course that little part right there is gonna get cut off because I'm gonna keep my blade up, um, which is fine because I ended up actually measuring out more elastic than I needed considering the gather that I got on there. So um, initially I did measure the top bust area for my daughter at 30 inches, but I ended up actually doing about 20, 25 or so when I got finished. And that was for a bust and then for her waist. Her waist was 29 inches, I ended up doing about 26. And then just gonna straighten it out. Gonna finish off with your straight stitch right there to close everything up and then do a back stitch to keep it secure. So I'm switching back to the sewing machine right now. And just make sure that you change your setting back on your sewing machine from the zigzag stitch back to the straight stitch. And then while I'm doing it, you just wanna pull. You wanna keep it straight and not, don't let it bunch up on you because it's gonna mess up the way it stitches. So you can kinda press that out with your hands if you can, but I'm gonna start with your needle down. It kinda helps just a little bit. And once it's down, it helps you pull the fabric. And you don't wanna pull too hard, not ridiculous. It doesn't take all that, but just a good little snug pull. And I did start off with a little bit of a back stitch and I stopped and then I back stitched again because again, I wanna secure that closing right there. And that's pretty much it at this point, we're done. So um, you're gonna do the exact same thing with the other side after you get your quarter inch elastic in and take a look at how this looks. The gather is nice. It's a nice closed little seam. That's the inside. I did go over into the black territory just a little bit, but you can't even hardly see it. I really just love the way that the serger makes the inside looks. It looks way better. And then that back stitch is definitely secure. And it was actually a good back stitch. Sometimes I back stitch and I end up going all off track with it and it looks all crazy, but this is what it looks like. And then as you see the top, it's cool. And that's the, the good side, the pretty side. Nice and snug, gonna fit her good. And we are all set and have fun. Do it again and again and again. I'm super juiced. And that was heck of easy, wasn't it? Thank you very much for watching. I absolutely do appreciate it because um, this was just my first sewing tutorial. I hope I have some more coming in the future. Um, let me know your likes, comments, questions. I'll be more than happy to answer what I can. Thank you for watching and have fun sewing.